Sending an autoresponder email campaign is a great way to keep in touch with your customers and prospects. An autoresponder campaign is essentially a set of pre-scheduled emails that are sent automatically based on an event or user action. For instance, you may want to schedule a series of follow-up emails to send to customers after they have purchased something from your shopping cart or if a prospect has subscribed to one of your web forms. The day after they have purchased, you could send a special thank you email with links to similar products the customer may be interested in. Four days later, your customer could receive the latest issue of your e-newsletter. After nine days, you could send an exclusive sale announcement and coupon code. And of course, the process could continue on. You can create any number of autoresponder campaigns to automate your sales process. To get started, select Autoresponders from the Email and Marketing drop-down menu. Then select Create an Autoresponder. Once you have set up an autoresponder campaign here, you can add any number of individual email messages. We'll cover that step in a different tutorial. First, give your campaign a name. Only you will see this, so be descriptive. Below that, the Autoresponder ID field should say New. It will be filled in with an automatically generated number when you're done, as each autoresponder is given a unique ID. The Direct Subscribe feature allows recipients to subscribe to your autoresponder directly using an assigned, system-generated email address. This is one way to trigger an autoresponder campaign. Basically, when someone sends an email to the Direct Subscribe address, they will begin receiving the messages in that campaign. You can enable or disable this feature here. Next, you can automatically remove a recipient from a different autoresponder when they subscribe to your new campaign. This is a useful option if you have created a pre-sales autoresponder and would like to move a recipient to your new campaign once they have purchased a product. Just select the autoresponder you would like to unsubscribe them from here. Now, in the From Email Address box, enter the address you want subscribers to reply to. Then enter your From Name. This is essentially who the emails are coming from. If you would like other merchants to gain access to this particular autoresponder, select Yes in the Shareable drop-down list. In most cases, the answer here will be No. Below that, you can select an Opt-in verification message. An opt-in email confirms your subscriber's permission to send them email and verifies they have given you a valid email address that belongs to them. If you would like to provide an opt-in verification email for this autoresponder campaign for all new subscribers, simply select a message template from the drop-down list and click View Email to see a preview. When you are finished, press the Save button. Continue with the next tutorial titled Adding an Email Message to Your Autoresponder Campaign.